people would call us, really who wanted to come and say, what is it like to live there as openly gay people? And we decided we wanted to show them. We want people to experience the food. That's why we do winemaker dinners. And we want them to experience the wine. That's why we do winery tours. We also keep them small, intimate. Our winemaker dinners are anywhere 15 to 20-ish people. The winery tours are 15 people. We want our guests, we want them to meet the winemaker. We want them to converse with the winemaker and hear what the winemaker has to say. Become friends with them and really get to know them on a personal level. We started our life together in Sonoma because of Gay Wine Weekend. We met Gary and Mark, and then just kind of fell in love with here. We love this place, we love this community, and we love these events. Our guests become friends. Again, like wanting to meet winemakers, we want them to build a relationship. They build a relationship with us. We love creating this magical weekend for people that, you know, and they forge friendships, and they get engaged, or, um, you know, they see each other th throughout the year. So last night, I got on one knee in the middle of the vineyard at Gay Wine Weekend, and I posed to the man of my dreams, and we are now gonna get married. <laughs> always being inclusionary, always being open, always being out. It's always been a central part of the winery to be focused predominantly in queer culture and to be part of Gay Wine Weekend is just a really special to me. Yesterday I spent most of my day at the Twilight Tea Dance, which was a blast. To see 700 people in a space like that, but to just transform the outside space of Statue St. Jean into a daytime dance party was really lovely. You know, we knew it's important, likewise, while we're in the community, we really want to give back. Face-to-Face -face Sonoma County HIV AIDS Network was right. struggling. They've been around since the beginning of the AIDS crisis on a shoestring yeah. budget and their budgets got cut. And at that point, we looked at each other and said, we need to help them. We need to give back to the community that is not doing good just for the LGBT community. They're, doing, they're helping homeless and they're helping drug addicts. And they're trying anything they can right. to stem the spread of HIV AIDS. And uh, it was important for us. So we yeah. approached them. And I think at first they were probably like, yeah, sure, okay, well, yeah, you know, okay, yeah, that sure, sounds we'll great. Some money, yeah. but, but they've become an integral part of, yeah. of what we do. Yeah. We want to support those supporting the sick. Come out in the vineyard and see what it's like because there's no experience that anyone's ever had to do that, to have the disco ball in the vineyard, have a DJ yeah. from the UK spinning the latest dance hits with luxury, beautiful wine and food. We want you to come because you're gonna, you're gonna experience that when you come here. And if you're a food and wine lover and being gay, you get to be who you are and do what you love and experience what you love at Gay Wine Weekend.